In video 3, we went a little deeper into the Unified Toolpath, and there's quite a few options you have available to you in the Unified Toolpath, especially under the Morph setting. Uh, right now, we smoothed out the toolpath a little bit, but even with that smoothing, our step over is a little coarse, so that we might not get the surface finish that we're looking for. And there's a number of options of doing that. Right now, I've copied the exact toolpath here, so I have it available, uh, and it's similar to what we, actually the exact settings that we had, and that was with the smoothing. So now I'm going to add the adaptive cuts to that options, and after it calculates here, you'll see the adaptive cuts actually added quite a few passes. First question I was asked is, is the cycle time going to be longer? Yes. But you're going to get a better surface finish here. Now this might not be everything you need to do to get the desired surface finish. You can definitely go back into parameters and use a combination of our step overs and that. And I would probably, in this case here, drop this down to about 25 thousandths. Leave on the adaptive cuts. It's going to take a little bit longer to calculate because we dropped our step over. And you notice you have more passes, and it, with the adaptive cuts, it's added a few extras. Just out of curiosity, I'm going to go back in here and turn off adaptive cuts. And we get a little bit different. So let's copy this. and paste it after here so let's compare our advanced options with adaptive cuts off and adaptive cuts on it might be easier to see the differences with the coarser step over so let's go back to parameters and change that to 50 thousandths And go back to parameters that are our second operation. Do the same. Now, when I turn off one, it's actually a little bit easier to see the difference between them. So that's normal. That's with adaptive cuts, which added cuts to it. We're going to explore some more settings that will make high speed machines move smoother in certain circumstances. Right now, I have two operations here. And I've, in the first one, we have maximum distance and minimum distance turned off. And the second operation, I have maximum distance and minimum distance turned on. So now I'm going to post just the first operation. We're going to call that number one. And if we look at the end of this operation here, we have 770 lines of code. Now let's take a look at the second operation. This has the minimum and maximum distance turned on. We're posting just the second operation in this case. Call this a number two. So if we take a look at these side by side. Operation 1, 770 lines of code. Operation 2, 8,550 lines of code. So this operation 2 is substantially longer. The reason for this 
is that setting breaks all the code down into small ink points. Some of the newer high-speed machines like the code broken down this way, and they run faster and smoother with the small points versus something here where you have a larger distance in between it. Now, if you have an older machine, you're going to have to run it more like in program number one because older machines can't process this data that's broken up in small segments fast enough. Thank you for joining me for another Mastercam video. If you like these videos, please subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on. You'll be notified each time a new video is released.